Twitter of the New World Order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Make sure you check out blackfoxnews.com slash shop uh, to support the movement. You can get yourself some BFM paraphernalia, you know what I mean? You can get a hoodie like this or whatever. You can get um, different color shapes and sizes, man. Anything to match your wardrobe, keep you swaggy, and still support the movement. Raise, raise the consciousness level up of yourself when you look in the mirror and those around you as you uh, go out here as the voice for the people. We got other lines, too. It ain't just about the local, but um, we'd appreciate the love and the support. Now, today is election day. You know what I'm saying? The day that um, could be a day of turmoil, could be a day of, um, of, of, of release for a lot of people. Or it just could be just another day for a lot of people as well. A um, hundred million people have voted so far. That's uh, way more than two. That's a lot more than two thirds of the total amount of people that voted in 2016 for uh, Trump and Hillary. Um, tens of millions are expected to, t- uh, to vote today. Uh, Trump has continued to cast doubt over the whole process, talking about, you know what I mean, for you know anything that's happening uh, counting-wise after Election Day. Uh, he's going to go in without lawyers. Um, that's what he said in quotes, whatever, go in without lawyers. Uh, he also um, said that he, t- he it was a tweet that was put out at, in response to Pennsylvania Supreme Court ruling that uh, votes can be, mail-in ballots can be counted as long as they're postmarked by Election Day and received within three days after Election Day. That said that's gonna incite, you know, could incite violence, and um, you know, he said some things that actually caused Twitter to like uh, call his quote uh, misleading. And it's like, man, as a president, how often are you gonna get checked by social media? Like, these are social media people that really is on your side. They ain't even on like the people's side like that. Cause I've been trying to get your ass on Twitter, but continues to uh, say things that are misleading and incite violence that have very grave consequences. That's why I should have signed my change.org petition. Ch- uh, change.org slash p slash get dash Donald dash Trump dash off dash Twitter. But you know what I mean, it's too late now. Uh, we'll see how this all uh, turns out because uh, he's uh, so far. <laughs> I mean, they they still uh, battle. They're still in battleground states. So for the past 24 hours, they actually been like you know in this place and that place. Joe Biden and Trump uh, going against each other, whatever. And Biden coming with the usual like you know what I mean like like make sure you go vote. We can get this president out. <laughs> Basically, the worst president ever. Like we could put an end to this. Uh, then Trump on the other side saying like oh all the rapists and killers and. Fuck boys want to vote for Biden. And, you know what I mean? MAGA, I got to really say, y'all are disappointing for even going for this type of rhetoric. Uh, this is the type of rhetoric that riled up the Nazis. Like, straight propaganda, straight mistruth, um, straight greed, money-hungry type appeal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Appeal to your lower self. You're like, I don't care. Uh, meanwhile, you got um, places like in New York City, Washington, D.C., and other cities, like they're boarding their areas up, their downtown areas up in preparation for what this election is going to be. Even in Minneapolis, they actually boarded up a government building. So people are expecting the bullshit. Even over in uh, the, the PAC train, they got like, you know what I mean? They got vaults on the doors. Uh, the PAC train, for those who don't know, that's the train that goes between uh, New York and New Jersey, uh, specifically between New York City and Jersey City, actually. And, uh, it like uh you know they have like some of the places boarded up on on the uh, path train stops downtown New York City, um, boarded areas up around there and they have like vault doors. So I don't know what they plan on doing or who they plan on trapping or whatever. Uh, yeah, it, man, this shit is about to get real. So everybody stay focused and get to somewhere where you can actually um I don't know maybe make make it through some some bullshit. You know what I mean? Make it through a hurricane or apocalypse or. You know what I mean? The men of the world shit because these are the times we in. That's why you're hearing it from the street support of the New World Order. Green Wall and graduation. Support of the New World Order. Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So over in Texas, a federal judge actually stopped an attempt by uh, Republican plaintiffs to get rid of 127,000 votes that were actually cast in tents in Harris County. Harris County is the county that actually contains Houston, um, believed to be like, you know, a lot of Democratic supporters there are uh, definitely like a lot of black and brown people in that in a place like Houston, you know, the, the popular cities. Uh, nevertheless, the um, the, that it was shut down because there's these 10 tents that were used as drive through uh, polling stations for early voting. Uh, it totaled to about 127,000 votes and they're trying to get rid of that. So the judges, the judge will keep it. However, um, the, the clerk. Uh, Chris Hollins uh, for, for Harris County actually announced late Monday that nine of those 10 uh, drive through tents would actually be shut down to uh, protect votes from any potential changes 
you know, which is already like a bad, a bad sign. And also said that the uh, all voting must actually be indoors uh, for election day. So, you know what I mean? Make sure you, um, you know, if you haven't already, you know what I mean? Go, go ahead and get out and vote, man. Rain war on graduation. Report of the New World Order Bishop Grady. Let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Uh, make sure you uh, create a profile with uh, blackfoxnews.com slash LPAI. LPAI. That's an acronym for Let's Post About It. It's actually our own social media platform and forum uh, that actually makes way for like responsible posting and discussion. Forum creator, and you can talk about any of this a wide range of topics. We can talk about, I mean, you or you can even create your own forum, but uh, definitely while mid discussion allows you to share like video, uh, upload your own videos actually to uh, share coding, um, of course, like you know, the emojis and the gifts and all of that, as well as like uh, Excel and document Excel sheets and documents and all of that. So, definitely uh, worth uh, looking at and, uh, and appreciating as an open forum for, uh, for uh, free discussion that can actually lead us to some truths as a people. Now over in Nevada, a judge actually struck down an attempt by Nevada's Republican Party and the Trump um, uh, Trump campaign to halt uh, the counting of mail-in ballots in, uh, in Clark County. Now Clark County is, is home to Las Vegas in Nevada, whatever. And actually Clark County holds 70% of Nevada's voter population. Um, re Republicans are talking about how like this is actually, um, the observers were a unable to like closely watch the ballot counting among other things. But all that's shut down by a judge. Best believe though, a lot of these um, people that are, are taking these uh, ballot situations to court, they're gonna try to take it to the Supreme Court. And that's the danger of uh, the new Supreme Court justice that Trump picked, Amy Coney Barrett actually being in the Supreme Court and giving the, um, even a six, three, six to three right wing lean uh, for any case that actually comes before the Supreme Court. But we'll see how this turns out. Green War and graduation. This report out of the New World Order, Bishop Grady Let. Y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black House News report. So, uh, Dr. Deborah Burks, this is the White House Coronavirus Task Force Coordinator. She actually has, uh, war has warnings and, um, you know, cri criticism in this new report that she released, basically showing how uh, we are in entering the uh, very, like, worrisome and deadly phase of the pandemic right now. She actually uh, went against what Trump was saying and talking about how like, you know, how uh, the, the the rollout just hasn't been, uh, it's not about lockdowns, but um, the approach towards it, having a, a, a balanced approach against um, in dealing with the coronavirus, with an aggressive and balanced approach in dealing with the coronavirus just hasn't been there. Uh, she also talked about how um, she, she also warned against Trump having these rallies, you know, maskless and, you know, shoulder to shoulder and all of that. Um, also talked about how the uh, U.S. testing is actually down, despite what Trump is talking about or whatever. And um, that the county, there have been more uh, county level hotspots than ever before throughout the pandemic. So right now we're at 9.3 million COVID-19 infections in the United States with over 231,000 deceased from this virus. So everybody stay woke and stay on point. Green war on graduation. Streets report out of the new world though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So I've been telling y'all over uh, in Europe and how COVID-19 has been ha handling that continent. A lot of lockdowns happening. Well, uh, add Britain to that list. Uh, Britain is actually entering its second nationwide lockdown. They're gonna be locked down for a month. Uh, due to the spread of coronavirus disease 2019, SARS-CoV-2, that Rona. By the way, BFM World Broadcast number uh, 17, aka Rona, that shit still bump, you know what I'm saying? And we got the uh, the video mix, the DJ Ob Marquis Black Fox News video mix on our channel, you know what I mean? Make sure you check that out, survive to get you dancing and all of that, but uh, it also inform you about what the hell is going on. Uh, so back out into the UK, um, Prime Minister Boris Johnson actually said that they're extending their 80% wage subsidies uh, uh, another month so I guess to go in accordance with the new nationwide lockdown um, you know it's a sign of everybody got to stay woke man because this uh, you know we can act like the virus is gone but clearly it's not and people gonna move off of that green war on graduation Streets report out of the new world, though, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So, uh, over in Afghanistan, you actually had gunmen that uh, ran, up, ran up in uh, Kabul University, Kabul being the capital of Afghanistan, uh, killing 22 people. You know what I'm saying? It's real serious shit. Now, um, you're talking about how the uh, t uh, ISIS, uh, Islamic State, 
actually claim responsibility for the attack. But some people, including the Afghan vice president, um, believe that it was actually the Taliban. Uh, this comes as like uh, this is the uh, the latest deadly attack in Afghanistan that's come since um, the peace talks have actually continued uh between the afghan government and the taliban in qatar now initially if you remember last year and you could just follow me if you've been following me you'll remember me saying how last year they actually were these talks were actually being coordinated by the united states and then trump dropped them because you know the violence didn't really cease apparently all this is ostensibly but i think it's very peculiar that um, the even though I, Islamic State claimed the uh, responsibility for murdering 22 people in a in a university, uh, that they still blame the Taliban and the U.S. deals with the Taliban and US, you know what's going on here. Green War on graduation though. Peace reporter of the New World Order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files news report. Man, shit getting wild in Austria for whatever reason. I mean, they are uh, entering a partial lockdown due to a sharp rise in coronavirus cases, but um, in Vienna specifically in six different locations there were like multiple shootings and stabbings uh killing four people and injuring over a dozen and uh several suspects have actually been arrested uh, one suspect uh some 20 year old unnamed man who's like uh north macedonian and austrian uh as citizenship wise uh was killed by police so we'll see how this turns out y'all green war on graduation Police reporter of the New World Order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So, uh, that conflict over in Nagorno-Karabakh, uh, the area with the Caucasus Mountain, uh, uh, where the, where the Caucasus Mountains, Caucasus Mountains are, uh, up there in Europe, by Russia, and all of that, whatever. That shit is still going down. Six weeks in, three failed ceasefires as the war has been going on between Armenia and Azerbaijan over that area. Now, um, you have um, the United Nations Human Rights Chief, Mich Michelle. Uh, Michelle Bachelet, pardon me. Uh, she actually has said that um, the strikes that are going on against like civilians are actually con will actually constitute as war crimes, and is calling for an uh, end to the uh, attacks on like towns, schools, and hospitals, and all of that. But you know, all's fair in, in war. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, and that's what's going on over there. You talking about like people uh, having air strikes, ground strikes, drone strikes, all types of shit. Now, uh, Arme Armenians, Armenia's leader is actually calling for assistance from Russia as uh, our Azerbaijan gains like more ground in the um, Nagorno-Karabakh area. You have um, them also calling for an investigation into like foreign mercenaries interfering with the uh, conflict as they apparently had captured two fighter pilots that actually ended up being Syrian fighters. So that's going on. You have the president of Azerbaijan that's saying that, um, that said on Monday that they're w willing to end the conflict as soon as uh, Armenia pulls out the region. Keep in mind though, the day before, he actually said that, you know, he warned that his military is ready to fight to the end. So, you know, they over there warring. We'll see how this turns out. So our green war on graduation. Streets reporter of the New World Order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Another uh, murder of, um, of black men in this country, man. 21 year old uh, Kevin Peterson Jr. of um, Vancouver, Clark County, Washington, uh, was actually killed on Thursday, shot by uh, down by three uh, sheriff's deputies. Apparently he was sitting in, in, in a parking lot. He was sitting alone in his car and um, apparently got out and ran uh, at, from police and they killed him while he was running, you know what I'm saying? So he was killed in the parking lot. Uh, investigation is, is fully underway. Um, people have been arrested in the protests that have uproared since his murder. Uh, on fr like on Friday, there were, I believe, like seven people arrested uh, after his, um, at, a, for, at, at a vigil, a uh, vigil or whatever, for um, his death. And uh, people, and you know, you're talking about protests that are being met with like right wing counter protesters as well. So there's also that political shit going on, man. It's just, you know, we just want justice out here, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So all that MAGA shit y'all kicking and, you know, being Antifa, it ain't got nothing to do with that fuck shit, man. It's about like black people still fighting for the same shit we've been fighting for, man. Cut that shit the fuck out. Green Wall on graduation, though.
Peace report out of the new world though, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report, man. Uh, check this out though, uh, there were uh, protests still going on in Philly uh, last week due to the murder of Walter Wallace Jr., right? Well, you have a Rakia Young, uh, who's a woman who was actually uh, driving an SUV, and she was assaulted by police. Now, there's rooftop footage that was taken of the uh, event that showed police going up to this woman's car, busting out her windows. They grab her 16-year-old son, pull him out the car, then grab the two-year-old nephew and pull him out the car, who actually suffered a bump on his head uh, from the assault, you know what I mean, on the, on the mother and all of that. So it got real crazy. But here's the fucked up part. The Fraternal Order of Police, the police union, they then go on social media and they, sh they release a picture showing one of the cops hugging the two-year-old kid, basically making it look like, you know, they were trying to save there because it's in the caption it's like it says the the child was wandering around barefoot and in an area experiencing complete lawlessness who was causing the lawlessness and so then the the fop they also uh posted like we are the thin blue line we are the only thing standing between order and anarchy this is the same these are the same accounts that are posting things like you know what i mean vote for trump uh, in order to preserve law and order now let me tell y'all MAGA motherfuckers something the main reason I don't fuck with Joe Biden is well, one of the main reasons is because he 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 fuels the prison industrial complex is because he's not he refuses to defund the police or doesn't even subscribe to that idea he has uh, Kamala ha Kamala Harris or whatever who used to be a, 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 a you know a prosecutor lead prosecutor for um california or whatever sent a lot of people to jail it said or whatever like these are facts you know what i'm saying i think she, i think she tried to do a job the best she could whatever but that's at the end of the day these are law and order people here these are pro police people so any maga motherfucker that's out here talking about don't vote for joe biden because he supports he doesn't support law and order or whatever you're a fucking liar yeah, I mean, as simple as that. I don't fuck with Trump or Biden, but that's part of the reason why I don't fuck with Biden. And y'all gonna sit there and lie that man like that? Like, y'all can't win with the truth? That should be pissing me off, y'all. Stop causing confusion. Put out the new world, the Bishop Grady, let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So remember them pigs in Baton Rouge, uh, in Baton Rouge Louisiana, uh, back in 2016 when they unlawfully murdered Alton Sterling, shot shot that man right in the chest and for the world to see while he was just laying on the ground. You know what I mean? Back, back down, not unarmed and all of that shit, right? So of course, there were protests that erupted from that, even though I think a little more should have erupted from that. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, at these protests, um, uh, organized by, you know, Black Lives Matter and other activists, whatever, uh, D. Ray McKesson, especially at that time, was a very prominent, known black activist, you know, kind of has like a little flamboyant, you know, homo vibe to him, but definitely like a, a man for the people, you dig? Now, in him uh, helping organize this particular protest, he actually ended up being a part of a lawsuit where a police officer at that protest uh, had actually got hit in the head with a piece of concrete or like a rock by one of the protesters. They couldn't get their hands on the protesters, so they ended up suing McKesson for, the, for that uh, situation. Now the lawsuit by the lower courts was initially dropped because it was like, well, that's an infringement on a dude's first amendment rights. Like you have a right to peacefully protest. They weren't out there armed. You know what I'm saying? Like this is BLM. This is not, they're not fucking around with you. You get what I'm saying? Like, but uh, but then the rebuttal to that was that, well, while, he, while that is an infringement on the first amendment rights, he actually had specifically set up or uh, instructed the uh, protesters to do like a blockade um, that had caused traffic that then made that uh, rock that created the tensions that brought about that uh, tossing of the rock. So uh, the lawsuit ended up going to SCOTUS, the Supreme Court of the United States, and they rejected it. So, you know, now McKesson, we can get back to this real work we need to be doing. You dig what I'm saying? Green War and graduation though. This report out of the new world though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Uh, the very first essential for success is the perpetually constant and regular employment of violence. This is one of three Hitler quotes that were actually found to be used in this uh, police training video uh, out there, out in Kentucky for Kentucky police. Now this was reported on by uh, um, a high school that's in Kentucky and they, they shared it as like this part of this slideshow. And on the slide, it's like, you know, um, action, uh, violence of action. Um, it's letting officers know like basically how to move about other things that are on there like um, you know be ruthless ruthlessness without anger and be the loving uh, spouse father and friend uh, as well as the ruthless killer like 
You know what I mean? Like uh, being able to move with and, and think without the potential of, without fear of the potential of death. Like real, they're like almost military training type stuff. And then even past that, especially with that first quote I, I, I mentioned. Um, these things are on the slideshow and uh, go, uh, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir said he's going to, he's, he vowed to actually look into it. Um, the police departments have apparently said that they no longer use that. The last, they haven't used it since 2013, but um, the reality is that that shit shouldn't have been used that fucking old. You know what I mean? So the, if that's what they're using in that particular state for police training, they must have thought it was okay. That's not the first and only police department that have done that. Like, so if that type of training is going on, then it's no wonder why they shooting motherfuckers out here for little to no reason. Green War and Graduation. Support out of the new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So the 28th hurricane of the season uh, for 2020, Hurricane Ada. We just got through Hurricane Zeta. Now we at Ada. Um, this actually is, is, is headed towards Nicaragua. It's not looking good. It's actually turning into a Category 5 uh, storm. So far, it's expected to leave like three feet of rain and uh, flooding in like many parts of Central America, but Nicaragua, y'all definitely gotta watch out. So, you know what I mean? Quinn, I say that everybody out there, and if you have family out there in the Central American region, definitely, or just even if you're just a concerned person, man, keep them people in your positive thoughts and prayers. Green War and graduation.